Baby, we are back, back at it again. You guys know the deal. Time to take off the pump cover. It's game time, boy. I'm already talked in like a gentleman. You guys already know. Anyways, you guys are here for uh, quite a good video today because what we're gonna cover is the most aesthetic portion of the shoulder, which is the side portion of your shoulders. It's a side delt, lateral, whatever. You get the idea. But I feel like most of the time we're all just stuck on lateral raises and trying to kind of get fancy with how do I do this, how do I do that. And I have too many side delt exercises, but I want to show you guys today is how do you do so in a way. First off, I want to give you guys something you probably have never seen or done. Eh, you've never seen it packaged up this way. I'll say that. I know that for a fact. You probably have never seen it packaged up this way. And if you have, well, my bad. But that's definitely not going to be the 99% uh, of you. So... Regardless, it's basically how do I put size onto my side laterals, side delts, without it being agonizingly boring, but how do we even take it a step further? How do we fix muscle imbalances? That sounds awesome. How do I do so in a way that's actually compressing time? How do I do it in a very, very short period of time? And that is what I'm going to show you guys. And it only requires two dumbbells. And by the way, not two sets, two dumbbells total. It's going to be a heavy one and a lighter one. And these are things I kind of pull up if I'm ever short on time or if there's like machines that I wanted to use that aren't used and I still got to hit my side portion of my delts. I'm not going to, who do you think I am? You think I'm just going to sit idle and just wait till my machine is ready? No, I don't wait for nothing. I don't wait for nobody. I'm just going to go get mine. Enough tools in the toolbox forces me to be creative. And because I decided to get creative, now it is yours. So without further ado, the side delt drop set imbalance magicianry some shit like that so you're gonna start off and it's gonna be single arm i know sucks but guess what we're compressing time you can't have your cake and eat it too something like that you know the sayings anyways so you're gonna take a heavier dumbbell unfortunately all i have is 40s i can definitely go heavier than this not bragging or nothing i'm just letting you guys know like go heavier you know what i mean what we're gonna do is it's actually gonna be a cheat lateral raise and so what I like to do would, especially with cheat laterals, like some people kind of go out like this, but it's not really doing much, right? So what I want to do is almost lean my body slightly forward, kind of just like this. And then I'll come up and swing just like that. And the thing is, is you want to move that sucker because this is meant to be a much heavier exercise than unfortunately that I can show. Okay. But regardless, it's the same exact principle coming in like this, swing it, swing it. Like, it's okay if you're externally rotating. You get what I mean? Like, doesn't mean you got to crank it out like you're throwing a baseball. But you're just coming out just like that. And explode. And this is also going to burn a shit ton of calories, even though those aren't real. Story for another day. But these are metabolically expensive. Like, this will get your metabolism up and just firing off. Because it's, it requires your whole body. You're standing up. Boom. And it's not like a fancy functional exercise. Like it's going to put some serious meat on your shoulders in the process. <laughs> so then after, let's pretend I failed because you just take very, very long. You're going to take a very light dumbbell and you're actually going to come out just like that. Super focused, but I'm not coming all the way down and resting. I'm keeping tension onto the muscle all the way through. Coming out almost straight arm in a weird way, but coming out right to your side. Just because it's light, you can handle it, you know? It's not meant to be heavy. Keep in mind, the more you keep tension onto that muscle, the more you're building metabolic stress. I know, I'm coming out with the wordsmith stuff today. You know, those fancy signs, terms. Pick up right after, no hesitation, and you rip them. These are all till failure, by the way, all of them. This one, typically, you'll probably die on like three or four, yeah, probably three to four reps, realistically. Maybe crank out five to six, it'd be pretty crazy, but you might have to cheat a ton. And then you drop it, and most people are like, well, I need a break. Well, you need your left arm. This is where the... A lot of people they don't understand about muscle imbalances is the fact 
that you have to identify those imbalances. And then you start tinkering in your brain. Oh, I got, you know, nine reps on the first one with my left, with my right hand. Let's see with my, with my left. Oh, I only got eight. That tells you that at least when it comes to the side lateral, I don't know why I keep saying it like that. The side deltoid, there's clearly an imbalance there, even if it's little. If it's too little, like you probably don't have one. You're just probably tired. But if you notice a significant amount, then you know you have something to work on. Like, oh, the left side is really holding me up. And now you start to tinker. Drop it, back up, boom. Zero wait time. Keep tension onto that muscle all the way through. No break. Don't give your muscle even a chance to breathe. it up instantly game time does it suck yeah I don't feel amazing right now my body feels like it went through a whirlwind to be honest but this is what we're after identified muscle imbalances to work on. If I knew I only got nine on one side, I sure as hell better get nine on the other side. Beautiful stress delivered to the side portion of your shoulders, metabolic stress, all resulting in having bigger shoulders in a way that is metabolically expensive, meaning you burn a lot of energy. It's very energy expensive. Doing it standing, moving your body in ways you probably aren't used to because you're just doing everything seated and because it's more comfortable, I get it. But these are great things to throw into your routine. Doesn't have to be crazy. You see that, but you're gonna feel a lot better. Like, you gotta train your body to move in certain ways. If you wanna be more explosive, then you have to move your body explosively, right? You wanna get stronger, you have to move heavier weight. You wanna put on muscle, you have to learn how to, basically what you have to do is deliver stress to your muscles, which is making the rep as hard as humanly possible. Right, like 50 pounds, how do I make it feel like 100? That's delivering stress. These are all parts of training. Nothing that we should neglect. Anyways, game time, boys. And it's as easy as one, two, three. I feel absolutely fantastic. It also feels good because you'll be out of breath a little bit. And it's good to get your heart pumping, right? Is this something, am I going out for a nice brisk jog? No, I don't. Only thing I do for cardio basically is jump rope. That I would consider pure cardio. Like if I'm doing high jumping or my explosive jumping routine, which is coming soon, I promise. I just wanna make sure it's actually working decent before I just share it and pretend like it's amazing. I have to know it's amazing. I test out everything I share with you guys, understand that. So sometimes if you're asking me for something that I don't have the answer for, I'm not gonna just put something together, right? Like in my head, it's like, well, I know I'm beyond this stage so I can talk to him about that. Unless I can really explain it on a real fundamental level to where I can explain all this stuff to you guys, I find it, not that it's useless, but it's kind of fugazi. And we don't do fugazi on this page. You guys know, we are raw as hell. We're genuine as fuck, you know. <laughs> it's always funny, like, wording it that way. Anyways, that is what I would try on your next shoulder day. Just try it. And I'm telling you right now, you're gonna be like, wow, that is something I'm gonna throw into the routine. And the more tools you have in your toolbox, the better off you're gonna be. The only thing you wanna make sure of is that every tool in your toolbox is actually there for a reason. We want to be effective, right? I know it's like a play on words, but that's why I talk about being effective versus being optimal. Two very different things. Optimal is like I'm scared about burning energy that quite possibly might not give me 100% return on investment, like it's ridiculous. Being effective, is just knowing the work that you're doing, you're making it work. You make the work work. And you can get jacked off just about any set of exercises, any scheme, I really do believe that. Of course, will some results look different depending on what you have in your programming versus others? 100%, 100%. But that's where the game has always been, learning what quality looks like. 
It's not as simple as like, yeah, man, if you just do three sets and 10 reps, you're going to be fine. At a certain point, that game runs out. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But eventually that system will be broke and you only have one shot at figuring out what it is. And that's by getting creative, by trying to figure out very hard what quality work looks like. And that's all I'm trying to do is share with you guys. These are things that I wish I learned sooner. And this is what quality work looks like. Anyways, I appreciate you guys being here and I hope this is well worth your time. If there's anything you guys are looking for specifically, drop it down in the comments. And if people like those comments, genuinely give all those thumbs up. And that way I know to make a video on it. As always, I love y'all very much, man. Coming from me and the mic, Uncle Rami out. Peace. Yep, 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 yep. And it's because it's game time, boy. Oh, shit. Should I just pretend that I didn't have the... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pretend. I'm going to pretend. Let's, let's just do this again. Let's just do that. Let's do that. I'm going to walk back out. I'm going to come back in and pretend that this is brand new. Cool?